many homeless people are living in the Spokane area? It's a question close to 150 volunteers are trying to answer. The annual point in time count provides a snapshot census of individuals and families who are sleeping in shelters or outdoors in city parks and streets. Kyle Simchuk was with volunteers tonight. And Kyle, this survey lasts for 10 days and tracks all sorts of things. Well, and one part of this study city leaders always look at is why people are experiencing homelessness in the first place. Last year, more than 1,200 people were recorded. The majority of them blame their situation on lack of income and affordable housing. Food can bring all sorts of people together. It can also spark conversation. But at tonight's dinner table, Inside Truth Ministries, questions got personal. Do you have any substance abuse issues? No. No alcohol, no drugs. Surveys only take a few minutes, but they provide the city and federal government detailed information about a population that can be hard to track. You said this is the first time you've been homeless? Yes, ma'am. Daniel Madden is from Akron, Ohio. He came to Spokane to serve 10 months in jail for felony harassment. He had money for a bus ticket home in 2017, but was put on probation for 18 months. I wasn't allowed to leave, you know. And he couldn't afford a place to rent. It's been three years since he's seen his wife. It's been hard on both of us, and we just suffered it out. Daniel is just one story. Last year, volunteers counted 1,245 homeless people. 62% were male. 76% of transients counted were over the age of 24. Three quarters were staying in places like shelters and transitional housing, but 25% were documented sleeping on streets or in vehicles. 2018's homeless census also found that the top four reasons for homelessness reported were lack of income, family conflict, lack of affordable housing, and substance abuse. 24% of adults surveyed were experiencing serious mental illness. This was Daniel's first time taking the survey, and he says it'll be his last. He's done with probation and will soon be getting on a bus back home. If it helps them get an accurate count on how many of us there are, and helps them figure out where to uh, put the money, then yeah, it's worthwhile. And volunteers will also be heading up to Deer Park, Loon Lake, even Cheney. The results of this year's count will be released in several weeks. In studio tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY, for Nightside. Thank you, Kyle. Proposals.